and press this button, then we're gonna record a Monster Factory. All right, c- count me in. I I got the intro. Okay. I mean, it's gonna when the title appears, you just okay. let her let her fucking rip. Okay. Griffin, a lot of people have been asking me, Justin, isn't Monster Factory dead? You know what I tell them? What is it? A soul silver. <laughs> I hate to tell you this. I think you left the freaking oven on. Your soul's still burning in there. Hey, uh, <laughs> check the temperature. Your soul still burns. Hey, it's getting a little. I like a little crispy crust around my soul's edges. Mm. This is Soul Caliber Six, and we had to come back and do this fucking series again because a lot of people tweeted at us. And did you know if you tweet at somebody a hundred times, they legally have to do what you say? So, I thought it was because Vox gave us money to do it, but you say <laughs> it's because of this guerrilla social media campaign. I like the repercussions of yours a lot worse. I am 100% sure Vox is not giving us money for this. <laughs> yeah, it's on spec. We're All hoping right. This is kind of our spec pitch for a Monster Factory film. Yeah, we're going to try and get Vox Media is more of a film company, kind of a we- cinema, transmedia, exactly. So this uh, is and our we, pitch. On this one, we got Steven Bielberg. Which I'm so psyched for. He's he doesn't maybe have the bona fides. Of, it sounds like sounds like if Justin Bieber got out of music and yeah. got into directing movies. <laughs> All right, so this is Soul Calibur Six. There's lots of options here, Justin, and I've seen some JPEGs of things you can do with this game, and they nasty. And I gotta say, Juice, I have a I've I've got a lot of like nasty juice like built up in my yeah. system i don't know about yeah. you it's i've got a deep That's, reserve that i want to just dunk all over the, whoever we make here. easily the most unpleasant audio 15 seconds you've ever provided me i have not messed around with the character creator save for looking at what our friends playing the home game have made who are these generated by uh just the community this is avocado <laughs> i love him That's more than uh, anyone good. i've ever met in my life it's avocado his it's weak point good. is well you Let can me guess. guess it yeah <laughs> This is his good friend, Pistachio. Oh, As you can see. Now, why is Pistachio? Why do we have to keep out of Pistachio? Finally, they're having Evo at church. And yeah. I'm so excited <laughs> that Evo's at church now. That's what we can do. And we can dip in and just see what's great about this system. You would think, what's a good way to peruse the community's offerings? Maybe a list or a chart of some sort? No, they just show you the most recent characters created, as far as I can tell. Wow. Um, so here's a, okay. <laughs> Someone didn't try it too hard. Uh, if you're worried that that was the last sort of horny character that we're going to see, <laughs> do not fret, my friend. <laughs> why I, Why does Soul Calibur, when a character teleports in, they apparently have to go in boobs first? Because there's like <laughs> re- residge jiggle on everyone. Yeah. It's the worst. Do we want to customize one? I can't believe that. Look at this fucking screen. Do you want to mess with our soldier woman and uh, samurai man or look at this we got shrek and a bunny lady <laughs> i'm gonna I'm, i think i'm gonna go uh, over to their emporium over there on the left i think i like the kind of the left hands jib i mean guys you call it a revenant that is a fucking skeleton i mm-hmm. it, you can't lie to me about what it is i have one inside my flesh i think <laughs> The mummy is good because it tells you everything about where they come from and what their whole deal is. There was a holy ceremony. There were astral fissures. Nobody knows what that means. And the bandages are cursed. Dog, you wrapping in cursed bandages? Why? Throughout all of Halloween, I tried to perfect this joke in my head about oh, how good. zombies are just naked mummies, and I couldn't get it going. Oh, that's all. good. No, you it's got not... it going exactly. No, when you but here's to. the thing. Here's the problem, though. Zombies aren't naked. So it doesn't make any sense. It's oh, just yeah. stupid. It's stupid. What you have to say is that zombies are mummies that aren't wrapped up in bandages, which is like nothing. That's like not an observation. You could say zombies are just peeled mummies, right? Yeah, you've that's... Shucked, you've shucked them. Shucked mummies. Malfested? This guy, I can't get over this guy's whole scene. Like, it's. I think he's trying to be intimidating, but with that hair... I must. I must have him. I must collect him. Well, that's oh, not what. He, that's not what I signed on. up for. Todd, no way. No way was that the default. Todd. 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 It's Kyle, a sign. Kyle, we've been back for ten minutes. Todd, you're already <laughs> on our nuts. Come on. Oh, okay. good. A weapon. I, sure. Very practical. Very practical. A razor hula hoop. Thank you. Are you? Is he hanging from it? Look at his feet. 
you move. I really like this circle, this dumb circle. Oh, hello, sliders. Justin, I'm not sure I even remember how to slide. Uh, I remember they can't be in the middle. That's pretty much the only rule. That was like that our I big remember. joke that we now, did. That was a great joke from the our merch. Ah, uh, that's so, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of beef in that chest. Yeah, his torso kind of looks like the um, meal that Fred Flintstone orders that tips his car over in the beginning of Flintstones. You know what I mean? The big hunk of, I guess, brontosaur. You just gonna eat that raw, Fred? You ever think about that? Fred's just gonna eat that shit raw. And he has no, there's no supportive medicine for him. Like when he just gets not. trichinosis or whatever, it's just, he's just gonna be fucking sick. Uh, that okay. chest is so fucking beefy. Yeah. You know, remember the lady who was like, remember this this one from a few years ago when the lady was like, where's the beef? Where's the beef? If that lady walked past him, the only thing she'd say is, fuck that sexy. I know exactly where the beef is and you've locked it in your chest cage. Average. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I've lost all my good torso work, so thanks, video game. God, I've, I've missed this. What is slightly tall? <laughs> Slightly tall is, a weird, is, is an unusual descriptor. Changing the height may affect the character's strength, the position of their patterns, etc. Are you sure you want to proceed? I don't think... To, has height been gamified before? Okay. Interesting. Is there no other bonus for being sh short? Like, I don't know, like an excellent cook or something like that? Like, you should be able to get something. It's well, just it takes less, takes less crackers to fill me up. <laughs> Damn it. I guess you do have that goal. You, you buy a bag of goldfish crackers, that's maybe one and a half meals for you. I could turn one bag of goldfish crackers into easily three and a half meals. It looks like he's getting the Captain America treatment, but like one section at a time. <laughs> it's being yeah. enlarged. What it looks like to me is that he got so tired of his arms <laughs> being out there that he had a very bad, very irresponsible doctor add sort of like seat cushions to his ribs. <laughs> Yeah, His ribs are kind of the bones that smile back. <laughs> it's, he's got bicep holsters where he keeps those those pythons. Oh, the neck is thick, huh? It's a thick neck. I mean, we're going to cover this up with all sorts of flotsam and jetsam. I'm not so worried about this, but I'm now I'm worried. Th that facial hair yep. pattern right there uh, is in every video game and not Earth. <laughs> like... <laughs> Every single video game is like, well, well, if they want this one, we got to make sure they could do this weird Fu Manchu style. No one on Earth is doing this, but video games always make sure you could do it. Bad boy grunge. Bad boy grunge. And now we have a name for our character. Damn, Soul Calibur, you're making this shit easy. Hey, Justin, do you? Have a, I wouldn't say I have a favorite genre of music, but I right now I've been deeply into Bad Boy Grunge. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Rich Kid Grime, if you yeah. remember that craze. Or, um, Tall Kid Ska. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Well, okay, Justin, you can't hear this, but let me set it up for you. This this sound, this sounds like a young villager. I can't run away. This sounds like a bunch of uh, gnarls and, and, and screeches. <laughs> what? I can't change the horns or tail? This was a mistake. Probably because okay. you're not a lizard man. Fair. Here we go. We're going to generate it at random. What happens to this character? He'll be fine. His body will be fine. Oh, his body's just, preserved. We're, we're loading a bunch of clothes into a gun that we're going to shoot at him. I just don't know. Is the body done? The body is perfect. The body is perfect. Okay. And the clothes are popping. <laughs> oh, are poppin'. my God. Now, they've given him sort of a Madonna, what is like, the, early 80s it is era. It, like, oh, we'll just choose him at random. The random thing that we chose for you is... Is uh, serpentor pants and metal nipples? Is that what you're hoping for? It, I know it's so random, right? Have, have you guys, have you guys seen the metal nipples? Because it was the only thing my game was capable of generating. <laughs> yeah, me too. Weird. It's really weird. Now he's looking. Look at it. Look at that fucking face. Uh, uh, guys. Uh, Griffin. Griffin, you can press that one button. I seen you do it earlier. <laughs> You'll it's never find these current. again. <laughs> Hey, brother, can you just tap that there A button once more? Hey, hey boys, uh, brothers, you've been having a great time. Glad you're back in the factory. <laughs> Me and all the boys are so thrilled. If you can just press that old button. Give it one press or it's... 
Hey, uh, hey there, bud. I gotta pick up my son from daycare here in about 45 <laughs> minutes, and uh, I need to not have... I would love to embrace him. Listen, uh, I just got a text from my boy Slippery. He's from the Rowdy Pack. That was kind of my college crew back in the day. They're taking screenshots of this thing like crazy. <laughs> if you could just, they're having a heck of a time. If you could just press that old button for me, gosh darn it. <laughs> All right, this is okay. a dope Prince of Persia reboot now. Damn, those pecs are not gonna agree with most clothes. <laughs> it's, it's very, you gotta dress around that. Oh, I, oops. It's nice he's got- <laughs> His outfit fucking kicks ass. <laughs> it rules. He's got his own mobile keyboard, which is right there in the front, <laughs> ready to type away. He looks like he's in like an, uh, a prototype virtual reality kit from 1995. I'm really being very specific with right. my years this it's video, like, but. Hey, Gabe, is this done? Yeah, it's done. <laughs> we, we haven't worked on the sort of leg ambulation yet, but the rest of it is done. It's the smallest we could get it. <laughs> now this one, let's talk about. Okay. It's because I like it. Bold, all right? bold. Now this is someone who's gonna go around house to house and get really frustrated when nobody knows what his Halloween costume is. <laughs> oh shit. shit! Oh shit! Fuck! Shit, Justin! Shit, bud! Vicky, my costume is done. Uh, are you sure, sweetie? You, are hey, you sure? Hey, sweetie, did you dye your chest hair to match the rest of your shit? Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm ready to fight crime. I gotta pick up my kid from daycare in 38 <laughs> minutes now. And I, th and this is what I'm wearing. And that's my choice. Kind of out of the frying pan, <laughs> into the fire. <laughs> what is the crack? How does that happen? That's yeah. not what underwear does. It doesn't conform to the crack and then develop its own crack. He has sweat. I think he has butt sweat. Well, there's also what appears to be uh, and I don't want to get too blue in this, our return, our triumphant return. But I think that's his butthole, and it's at where, like, my tailbone typically. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Also, his butt crack goes all the way down all to the way. his penis. All the way. Good, the good Lord split him right there. Oh, my God. You can crack. It's Googer. He's got two, two, two Googer lobes. Okay, no preference there. Age. Okay, don't care. Don't care there. Extravagant. Yeah, okay. Match. Cool. Cool, right? cool impressions. Player setting. I want favorite. I want my favorites. So, when Griffin presses generate at random, what we're going to see is something cool and also extravagant. Cool and extravagant. That's pretty cool. I don't know about extravagant, though. Okay. Okay, this is good. Hmm. Powerful. Every time that the game's AI decides- Yeah, you don't have your fucking shoes yeah. on! <laughs> when the game's AI decides no pants, I'm fascinated by it. Like, uh, extravagant, cool, that's enough clothes. Is it my PC? It's not chunky enough to keep up <laughs> with the game? And so it's like, uh, go, go, go. We gotta get this image out on the computer. He's recording this. <laughs> I haven't done the pants yet. It doesn't matter. Just fucking put- well, You don't have shoes on. Just push it out there. Go. <laughs> Generate it. I love oh, the face. He's got eyes on the back. Okay, now you can kind of see now he's, he's got a back belly button too in there. Huh? Yeah. Okay, what? Man, that looks like a surprised else. cartoon face, huh? <laughs> I want to just remove everything, start from scratch. He just got off his shift at the surgical unit. And now it's time for sex. <laughs> Leave that there. A doctor who's ready for sex is a great start. I'm worried we're like nine steps away from naming a character Dr. Sex. <laughs> And then having to put that on the internet. <laughs> well, he would well, be. Well, here we go. It is him. <laughs> he would be Dr. Feelgood, probably. But we wouldn't go in that, that direction, I think. The yeah, fact that fine. he is a doctor who's ready to have some sex is really just the surface of his personality. I think we're done. <laughs> we have to see the other options for the body. <laughs> It looks like his mom came in. <laughs> he <is> just cra <laughs> uh, cracked. Uh, uh. Uh, no, I wasn't. Um, that's not bad. That actually does kind of. Well, that's more like a hospital gown. Well, the doctors can be the patients. Happens all the time on. Grays. What do we? What do we like here? The best I've felt so far has been t-shirt loincloth. I can live without the t-shirt. I think I need the loincloth. Okay. 
So, we do need to cover his, no, fuck. Wow, those are great though, damn. All right, <coughs> we need to look at, we need to look at all the offerings before we, we keep getting married to stuff. His head's a doctor, <laughs> so that part is definite. I don't like the hot pants. It's not original, Justin. And it's not nasty enough. I wanna fuck this guy up. <gasps> Uh-oh. He just broke out his sex cage. <laughs> Someone locked me in his sex cage in the hospital <laughs> supply room. But I said, no, I gotta fix somebody's fucked up brain. No, he, no, no, no. He demanded that they lock him in the sexual <laughs> cage. He needs something. Wait. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Mm. Ah. Ah. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why would that even? That's actually become someone else's costume at this point. This is my sex soul. My sex soul still burns. Wait, you're telling me that I can make them not be on his... Why would they... This is cl oh, classic soul caliber. <laughs> He's the, the absolute madman is back at it again. <laughs> The absolute yeah. mad lad soul Why? caliber. I can't let you, I Why can't let you go Earth anywhere. Would these two values be disconnected? There's no reason. Mm, bye, idiots. <laughs> Time for me to enter virtual reality. <laughs> Jack in. <laughs> zap, zap. I'm zapping aliens. Why would that be an option? <laughs> it's beyond God. creativity at this point. That's not a, it's not a tool they should be enabled. Ah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now wait. This is like throwing a dart. I think I can come on this. Come on. Come on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Scanning for <laughs> bibs. <laughs> No, wait, go back to Smith's goggles. What does random do in this case? Oh, fuck. Oh, this is <laughs> classic Soul Calibur, you mad lad! <laughs> I remember this shit. Yes, this game series kicks so many asses. Like a oh, gun holster, huh? I know where that goes. <laughs> I, I know this one. I know this one. No, uh, please allow me, Monster Factory. The hilt of it goes in the tum tum. <laughs> the holster goes on the pee pee. <laughs> I've, I've been down this road before. I know how you nasty boys like to do it. I'm Bandai Namco, and I know where the gun live. Now, okay, you said thigh. It knows what a thigh is. Yeah, yeah. How on earth? I do kind of want to put it on like this, and then maybe at the beginning of every match, it, the gun would just fall out every time. <laughs> there, right when I need it. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. Me? Excellent. I always have my gun handy. Me? Oh, you're needed in surgery, Dr. Gunhead. Maybe we could rotate it. Make it a little bit more intimidating. <laughs> oh shit, he's doing this with his telekinesis. <laughs> you could even do the work that Soul Calibur himself is unwilling to, and make it touch his head. Pew pew! Yes. Can you make it thicker though? Let me get a thick Extremely gun. wide head gun. gun. Oh my god, look at this big gun. Look <laughs> how stupid. Look how stupid the handle looks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody, the new Red Dead Redemption 2 footage is in. <laughs> This Featuring one. Dr. Sex Gun. <laughs> you finally find the first. This is the boss of the first level. <laughs> Dr. Sex Gun. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna think that your game is. <laughs> you're oh gonna think God. that your game is glitched out. But no, he really does have a Buick sized gun coming out of his hand. <laughs> and he is dressed like a doctor who's ready to have sex. <laughs> Can you guess where his weak point is? Oh my it's God. everywhere. <laughs> he's an extremely easy villain. Oh, he's so proud of it too. <laughs> so oh, it's, so wait, what the fuck? Fuck you, <laughs> no! Can I undo the undo? Yes, he's back. He's okay. back, thank God. Oh, we gotta get rid of this ring. <laughs> right? I don't think that the, I think it's a decorative weapon, Griffin. I, I know, but it's just gonna, he's gonna, it's gonna get caught. 
Have you ever tried to hula hoop while also balancing a broom on your head? It's tough to do both at the same time. I mean, we could uh, put one, pull one out for Melissa. That could just be sort of our trademark in the Soul Calibur community. Uh, People will know us from our trail of red, <laughs> delicious, juicy apples. Hey, Justin. Mm-hmm. Hey, Justin. Yeah? Do you remember this one? I put my dick in a box. <laughs> do you remember him? Must be a pretty big zone. And tall, too. <laughs> you don't usually hear about the height of it. Sort of like a pizza. <laughs> Oh, tasteful, classy art, Justin. Like an American Beauty art, right? Because you want to see that. Oh, uh, okay, nasty but thing. you can't. <clears throat> you can't see that nasty thing. That's tasteful. Do you like that? I think it's pretty tasteful. Might be cauliflower. So I stay so healthy. <laughs> I'm Dr. Sex Gun. I like to play hard and eat cauliflower. <laughs> so much that my ding dang wiener went ahead and turned right into a cauliflower, didn't it? <laughs> That's life, I guess. You know, even in the doctor community, we haven't figured all this junk out. <laughs> I don't know how to get this freaking gun out of my brain. God, he's so fucking intimidating. All right, one more toy to play with. Uh, there's really nothing in the butt. You're right, Justin. Butt isn't a pre-made option. How, though, huh? I have a question. This is just a thought, and you can feel free to tell me no thank you. How small of a gun can you hide in his butt? In his butt, because I have this idea that the huge gun on his head is a distraction. Yeah, and it's trying sure. to trick. And it's like you think if you think you knock that one out, then you're fine. But it's actually the small, small gun in his butt that you have to worry about. I think that might be as close to the butt as we're gonna get. So if we move it, <laughs> I'm gonna spend all fucking day doing this, Justin. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you, are you ready, pal? Yeah. I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I can take it. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Good to go. Wow. It, wow. <laughs> we know the gun is wow. in there. You know what I love about that? <laughs> I I guarantee you there will be some kicks. There will be some angles <laughs> and kicks where the gun will make itself its presence. <laughs> no, and he is never defeated. So he never uses the guns. Never uses the guns. I think we can guns. establish. They are decorative. He, they, it's, it, his name, he was born Dr. Sex Gun, and I think he tried to live up to the role as much as he could. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. He's a good fighter. Do we like this? This seems below <laughs> us. He's beneath us. God, look at him. <laughs> look at him. I'd be intimidated. Ah, fuck. I'm not going to block that. <laughs> I, had my, I had my full dick exposed. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching the video. You are the best watcher we've had today, so thanks for the, all the reactions. We're top flight. Top marks for you in terms of watching, attention, and you laughed at the, all the right places, so thanks for watching Monster Factory. And if you liked it, we got lots of other stuff over at McElroy.Family. It's our new web zone that we set up with Vox, and it's got all of our yeah, junk look, on look it. Look at our junk. Dang it.